Hello everyone. I hope you are all having an amazing day. I am back with an other fantastic news for you all. Whether you are a returning viewer or a first time visitor, I am thrilled to have you here. If you enjoy what you see today, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon to join our wonderful community. So, without wasting any more time, let's dive straight into today's content. Striking actors and writers reunited to picket lines on Tuesday for the first time since the writers union reached a tentative deal to end the nearly 5 months strike. Although members of the Writers Guild of America wore blue shirts in solidarity, the picket signs were nearly all yellow and black, the colors of the Actors Guild sag of draw. Details of the tentative deal between the writers and the studio's representative are scarce, but news of a possible deal buoyed spirits outside Netflix. Actor No Vial said, Obviously, we are very excited after 140 some odd days out here trying to secure a decent contract. Very excited. Obviously, we're very excited after 140 some odd days out here trying to secure a decent contract to hear that our leadership and negotiated committee are, are happy with the terms that have been presented this is really wonderful news. We were just discussing how between that moment and the ratification, we need to be extremely vigilant to make sure everything that we're asking for actually says what it means in the contract and uh, SAG should follow suit. I hear it's an exceptional deal and uh, historically whatever deal they give to one union, the uh, next union kind of uses as a template for their own deal. I don't think I'm speaking just for myself when I say I'm a little underwhelmed at the turnout today. Uh, I understand the writers are taking a break as well they should, but given that the Screen Actors Guild is 10 times the number in membership, and we are still striking, we do not have a contract, I would expect to see more members out here. Yeah, there's 160,000 members, so get on the picket line. If you're a SAG actor, get on the picket line. It's no joke. Actor and writer Jonathan Barelock said, I think this is a huge win, not just for the entertainment industry specifically, but also labor unions across America. I think this is a huge win, not just for uh, the entertainment industry specifically, but also like labor unions all across America. Uh, you know, there's can be a feeling that workers have very little power in the face of giant corporations, um, but these strikes have proven that that's not true. That we actually have huge collective, you know, bargaining power, and that when we get together, uh, you know, anything is possible. So yeah, it feels great. The question is, do we want to pursue efficiency or do we want to pursue human flourishing? And I think what we're hearing from the people in what looks like an actual populist movement is, you know, human flourishing. We want to work, but we also want to support our families and we're just questioning why it's so top heavy. It was surprising, you know, it was elating, but we've, we've been out here for so long it's almost hard to, hard to believe. But what it does show is that once the AMPTP took it seriously, they could get this done in four days. We didn't need the other 142. So it's wonderful. Now we just got one, one down, one to go. Actor Ivan Shafran, who appeared in Barbie and is the master of ceremonies for the strike at Netflix, has been picketing since the WGA went on strike in May, despite being a member of SAG-AFTRA. He said it's no joke and we have poured our heart and sweat and tears into this. That's right. We want a contract. One time. Give us a contract. That's right. Give us a contract. It's, it's no joke and we have poured our heart and sweat and tears into this and some days I went home and cried and got it out and I came back here the next morning with a smile on because I knew that we would keep showing up until we got what we wanted, until we got what we asked for, which I want to reiterate is not a lot. It's just basic, basic needs, fair pay, so we can make a, a, a decent living. It's a lot of it is mental, not just the fact that like, oh man, it's hard to pay your bills and like credit cards are getting maxed out. It's also like the not knowing, you know, that the stress of 
not knowing when this would be over, um, you know, kind of takes a mental toll as well. But uh, it, it feels good to know that we're going to come out on top. But as one strike may be nearing an end, another is looming. Why sectors and motion capture performers in the multi-billion dollar video game industry voted overwhelmingly on Monday to authorize a strike if negotiations on a new labor contract set to begin Tuesday fail. Titanic actor Francis Fisher, who is also a member of sag -Oftra negotiating committee which oversees video game performers said the video game business makes billions of dollars and the performers make nothing. It's such a scam and it's time for that to stop too. Well, they haven't been able to negotiate. They've been, they've been, you know, trying for a year because they are as incorrigible as our AMPTP bosses. And uh, the video game business makes billions of dollars and the performers make nothing. It's such a scam and it's time for that to stop too. That's it for today's video folks. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. If you did, make sure you smash the like button and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Join our amazing community. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.